welcome to the cloud network in this tutorial i will show you how to install k ubuntu on your version 14.04 on your virtual box this is the downloading where you can download this k ubuntu just open the google and type k ubuntu after typing k ubuntu this is the download link click on this download link and you will be come on the website of kubuntu.org get coven this is the website and this when you click on this kubuntu 14.01 after scrolling down here is the two methods showing regular download and if you want upgrade that means from 12.0 or 13.0 if you want to upgrade means you can upgrade this one and this is a method from you can download from torrent also both 32 bit and 64 bit and you can mount not only to a dvd you can mount on pen drive also this md5 key and let me click this is the desktop 32 bit and this is the server 64 bit 14.01 this is the latest version and here is the mirror for turkey sudan other purpose language requirement is nothing but you need to have at least uh, pen requirement you need to have at least a uh, pen drive bootable or cd md and from this you can want to upgrade things you can upgrade uh, this is software so after uh, downloading which i have already downloaded uh, this one is the k 64 bit i have downloaded let me show you how to install in your work on virtual box just open virtual box click on create and here is here you can type k ubuntu uh, will come under the ubuntu uh, this one 64 bit select if you download 32 bit we select 32 bit this is the ram you are going to assign uh, sign match uh, click on create and click on next and uh, next uh, here is you can give a hard disk size for your uh, k ubuntu give at least i am giving 30 gb you can give according to your hard disk size purpose now I change the location of this uh, drive, click on create or uh, go to settings and uh, find your system unchecked floppy, scroll down, go to storage, go to empty, assign your ISO image where you have downloaded uh, and uh, double click, click ok and start. We have there come to the welcome page. Uh, here is showing about two methods. You can install with the pen drive or in with this, it will boot on directly to your DVD or it's from your pen drive. If you make a pen drive bootable or DVD, so it will be boot only on to the pen drive only or DVD. If you want to install your hard disk, means click install cable. So here is the section saying and sure the computer should have at least 6 GB space available. That is plug into power. No internet is connected. No, I have not connected any internet. So just click to continue. If you want to check third party me, you can check here third party for installation of the MP files. Here is use Android disk or we want to set up LVM, you can set up. If you want to go with the manual means you can. I am using use Android disk. click on install now after that will ask for time zone here time zone select your country which country you belongs to and then click for the keyboard language the next step So here your keyboard language can select which country you belongs to by scrolling your layout and warranty and then click on continue for that you need to ask your username type your username uh, I'm giving cloud uh, after that choose the password for this login I'm giving the password please remember this password so if you want to require the password login you can uh, automatic login you can check so I am checking automatic login and for 
click on continue now it's installing so it's take some time you can have a coffee or tea now we need to restart it click on restart we have uh, restart installation finishes and then it's rebooting now it's telling to remove any media or cd or dvd is there please remove it after that you need to restart it and check this cd on dvd and scroll down and press ok start again our installation has been finished now we are just booting our kubuntu uh, after removing any dc is there press enter so this is your one to installation uh, you can see this is on screen desktop toolbox is coming uh, uh, this is the menu is there icon this is the network adapter is there so this is the end of my installation of kubuntu 14.04 if you get, if you get any uh, errors or if you get any problem during the installation you can comment below to the my video and please subscribe to it cloud thank you